Hey guys, today with the help of Bill from Polytech, I'm gonna take a totem pole and show you how to make a one piece mold of it and how to do your first casting. Let's get started. We're gonna cast this today with our mold. Uh, it's actually some, uh, some silicone of yours that we sell. It is the Flat Seal 7360. Yeah. yeah. Nailed it. So we're gonna cast this really, really cool totem pole. But to do that, we need to make a mold. So Bill's gonna do that right now. Shane, we're gonna go about a half inch to three quarters of an inch all the way around. Just a little bit of buffer so that we have a nice stable mold. If you don't have a thick wall, that mold will end up flexing on you. So that'll be the bottom. We yeah. want to go a half inch over the part, so we'll probably go just about three inches. First off, Bill, that was so fast. So this is it. We've got the right amount of, of actual distance here, right? Because this is important. Yes. We need, we need space here in order to make this mold strong enough, right? Strong enough, and so when you fill the cavity of the mold, the walls don't bulge out. They don't bulge out, they yep. don't bow. So this is it, we're good to go. We gotta, you know, screw, screw these together. things together. Yep. Then we're gonna mix some stuff. Okay, let's okay. do that. I wanna do a little bit of a pilot hole in this thing, because it's a hard plastic. Just, no, this isn't your first rodeo, is it? No. No. So what we'll do is we'll measure the inside of the box. Okay. And the inside of the box is say three and seven eighths. Okay. By fourteen. Okay. Are you, you're not doing that math in your head right now. Are no, you? I'm not. No, oh, okay. I'm not. Whew. By two and a half. One thirty-five point eight. Okay, so that's how many cubic inches are in that box. And now we'll subtract the volume of the piece itself, right? Okay. So we'll go twelve. Twelve. By? By one and a half. One and a half, another easy decimal for me. By one. By one. 18. 18. So now we'll take that first number minus that second number. Divided by 25, 4.72. Or 71 pounds. 712, 4.71 pounds. So we'll mix up five pounds. Is this a lot to do right now? Five pounds? Yeah. Well, it won't fit on this scale. How long have you guys owned this thing? Well, it's not as old as it looks. <laughs> so it's 10 parts B okay. to one part A. One part A. So the math is simple. You just take whatever B you put in okay. and multiply by 10% and that's your A. So we're doing 2,200 grams. Okay, 2,200 <laughs> grams. Whoa! So we're gonna go up to 2,000 grams. There's seven, getting close, there it is. How heavy is 1, that, 000. to be honest? Ooh, holy cow! Usually not that lucky, that was good. And so the part A, okay. you need to make sure that you shake this well before you use it. Here. You can tear that out again and we'll go I can to the Okay. Cleans, well, we've cleared the scale. We've not cleaned the scale, clearly. All right, so now we're going up to 200 grams of this. Yep. Part of part A or B? Part A. Part A. All right, here we go. There it is. It's just like baking. This is yeah. easier than high school chemistry class. This is, yeah, baking. That's the yeah, great it's example. Like baking. It's like baking. Yeah. We like to mix small mixes by hand like okay. this because I'm not introducing any bubbles. Got it. You're kind of folding it over. Yep. Just keep folding. Nice just like baking. Yep. Just like baking. And then when you're done, we'll start pouring. We'll start pouring. So you don't okay. want to pour directly on your model because you'll trap air bubbles against the model. Got it. So we're going like as, as deep as you can into the yeah, corner. Yeah, just pour into a corner and let the rubber flow up and over the model and it'll chase the air bubbles ahead of it. Okay, and then oh, once wow. it's all in there, you can pour anywhere. You were unbelievably spot on with how much you needed. So that's just, that's from your experience with the product. Right, you always mix just a little bit more than you need because there's right. always gonna be something left in the bucket. Now yeah. once, if that cures, can I just peel that out of the bucket? Yes. Reuse that bucket Reuse no problem? Reuse it, yep. Sweet. yep. Okay, well we're gonna let this set for a while and then Bill and I are gonna come back and demold this. We'll be right back. Give us a little bit of time here. All right, we are back and we have 
Bill, we've got a solid mold here. Yes, looks like it did cure in time. That is phenomenal here. So it's not it's not messy either. This is pretty clean. So we got to we have to demold this now. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna say we have to uns unscrew. Unscrew. Is that, is that step yeah. one? Yeah. Then can I do that? I just this... want to point something out. Oh um, yeah. The what top you... of this is just slightly tacky. Okay. And yeah, that's because that. it's a platinum silicone. And actually, anything in the air can also inhibit the silicone. So if it is mm. a little bit tacky like that, we just take some baby powder. And we just baby kind of powder. Sprinkle it on there. And so this makes it, and it gets rid of the tackiness. So this makes it actually more like manageable. So yes. it's not going to stick to me, it's stick to the stick. table. Right. Got it. Oh yeah, so, so now, much better. Now it's like yeah, no tackiness. At all. All so right. now we can take a pop of the box. Easy. So there's. Let's see. That was just one screw. Let's see if it comes off okay. Ooh. No problem. One down. One. One down. Four to go. How many molds do you think you've made up here? Have you made hundreds of molds hundreds. now at this point? Yeah, oh yeah. So yep. this is old hat to you. Oh, oh. I can't even describe. I yeah, think there is. <laughs> oh, that was satisfying though. Wow. Sometimes if it's got a little bit too much suction, you might have to take like a putty knife or something and break the seal. Kind of wedge it in. Yep. Th these are coming off, honestly. Yeah, they're coming off pretty easily. Very easily here. No problems. The pieces are off. Okay. Now we go upside down, right? Well, you could. We could take these off and let the model come out in the mold and then peel it out. Sure. Or, or, or you could just go around the edge and kind of break this yes. seal. Yes. Let's do this the faster way. And then way. peel it off. Okay. Yep. Just slide it right down in between and that'll also break the, the suction. Got it. Oh, you know what? I think the screws... You're pulling it right out. I'm yeah. pulling it right yep. out. Yep. So what's the right move here then? Is it to unscrew this? I would take them out. Yeah, take okay. the screws out. So we're going to take the screws out. Okay. So there we go. So then and we can, can just take the take... back right off. Ah, that And you can see how easier. the silicone kind of bled around the model, and that's yes. what was holding the model in the cavity while you were trying to pull it off, right? Got it. This there was suction, there was tension yeah, here. Yeah, the silicone ran around the model and went under it. So let's just cut this end here because we can see the edge of the model right there, right? right? So let's just break that edge free, and then. Kind of, kind of pop it right. I just took it like this. And yeah, and just kind of forced so it. So go ahead and pull that down. Oh, yeah, yeah, here yeah, we go. go ahead. Oh, yeah, there it goes. And there we go. Woo! Wow. And actually, look, most of the silicone came out on the back, so we don't have to do much trim trimming. Oh, that's perfect. Looks good. This is awesome. Bill, another successful project. Thank you so much. We're going to take you. this, uh, we're going to take this mold back to Grand Rapids, and we're going to do some castings of our own. Very good. Awesome. All right, stay tuned. All right, we're back. We were in Pennsylvania. Feels good to be home, I have to be honest. It is colder here though, so paying that price. So we got this mold, if you remember. We made this really, really cool kind of totem pole, and now we're gonna finish it here. I'm gonna use some of our amazing ClearCast resin, but I'm gonna use the white, because I'm gonna add some colors. We're gonna do a little bit of powder stuff. This is gonna be fun. Okay, so let's talk about color choice. What I'm gonna do here with this guy, I want this to be kind of like a brown caramel cream. Imagine this totem pole is outside, it's been sitting. Let's say this has actually been in a forest, so maybe it's got moss covered. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do something with one of our powders. I'm just gonna dump these out. All right, so I want, ooh, here we go, forest, forest green. Maybe there's a little bit of brown in there too. And maybe just a tiny bit of like a lighter, normal green. As far as the actual base itself, I don't want to use translucence, right? This is, needs to be opaque, needs to be solid. If I started with like opaque white as a base, it'd be too light. It's dark, we're in the middle of the woods. This is made out of wood. So I'm gonna use some opaque black. I'm gonna do a little bit of a cocktail between these orange, yellow, and the black translucence get kind of a maybe a caramely color if I can pull it off. With these powders, what you can actually do is brush into the mold a little bit of powder where you want it to be and just leave it. Just leave it right there. And then when you pour resin on top of it, it will actually come out, mix into the resin, be completely fine. I'm gonna try a little bit of like a custom mixture in one of these just one ounce cups here. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of brown just to get a base in there. And then this is the dominant here, this forest green. And unfortunately, I don't have that much of it. That's all right. 
I will still use a little bit more of this normal green as kind of a highlight back up here. And I think that's all I really need. There's that. So I'm gonna take my paintbrush. I'm just gonna stir these up a little bit, get a little bit of powder on it, and then we're just gonna go into this totem pole and pick our spots where maybe moss could grow. In perfect Bob Ross fashion, there's no mistakes here. Have fun. Was it happy accidents and happy trees? Yeah, same thing. So I'm gonna go in, I'm just gonna add a little bit here to this face. You get a lot of moss there. This guy, a little bit there. I really am just kind of loosely brushing this on. I'm not being precious about it, but I also don't want to cover it all. If I cover it all, then it doesn't matter what the color of resin I choose is, it's not gonna come through. All right, I'm gonna leave it. I could keep going, but if I keep going, I'm not gonna get everything coming through that I want. So I'm gonna put that to the side. Two mixing cups, I'm using graduated cylinders. Lumilite White is one to one. This is my favorite part of this. Weight or volume. You don't have graduated cups like this with markings on it, and you got a scale, you're fine. One to one by weight. If you've got these, one to one by volume, either way. All right, I just did a quarter liter. Mm. It just feels risky, you know? So I'm gonna go up. If I got a little, little extra, that's okay. 350 milliliters of A. And then that means 350 milliliters in this one of B. It's actually nice using this resin because it's a break from all the epoxy stuff we've been doing, which side B on that is just heavy. This feels so much lighter. Big fan. Okay, side A, side B. All right, black opaque. This is our base. I'm just gonna do one drop to start. I don't wanna worry about adding a ton in here because you can always add more you can't take away. So I'm just gonna do one drop. And then yellow and orange translucent are the other ones. All right, so orange translucent. I'm gonna go more on the orange side, so I'm gonna start with two. One, two. You know what, for yellow, I'm also gonna do two. Why not? Live a little. One, two. Grab a stir stick. And this, it's just all part A. We're just stirring this up real quick to see what kind of color we got. Whew, this is dark. That's okay though, remember, this is gonna turn white. So if I pull this up a little bit to the side, you can see that it's brown, it's tan. That's what I want, because that tan is gonna come with the white that actually happens during the chemical reaction, maybe get me in that nice kind of cool color. Okay, I've got my colors mixed. I've got everything dialed. I've got my powder in here. I've got this ready to go. I got two minutes to mix this stuff together and get it into the mold before it closes. Here goes nothing. I'm gonna check my thing real fast. Pretty much gonna go to the top. Okay, I'm glad I checked. If I add this to this, it's gonna go all the way up to the brim. I don't wanna deal with trying to mix this thing with something all the way to the top. It's gonna to go everywhere. So, bigger bucket. There we go. Now I'm just gonna scrape because I want all the color in there. Perfect. Okay. If you got a timer, start it once you start it now. I know what I'm doing. I'm not gonna worry about that. All right, stirring. Make sure you're mixing all the stuff around. If you just mix in a circle like this, you're not really getting everything mixed. So figure eight from the top down to the bottom and kind of stir the bucket as you're doing that. That makes sure everything is getting nice and combined. And then scrape the sides a little bit. It's not as needed with this as opposed to like an epoxy where it's really, really thick and hard to get off the edges. This just makes it a little bit easier. Okay, part A and part B, it's mixed. Take that stir stick, I'm gonna put it over here. Okay, with the mold, 
I'm bringing that back into the middle for you. I'm gonna go in the lowest point first just to make it easier. This bucket's already getting hot. That means the chemical reaction's happening. So let's go ahead and get this in the mold. Here we go. And then I'm just gonna keep pouring it, keep pouring it. As I get closer to the top, I'm gonna slow down just to make sure I'm not overflowing. Take my time. All right, that's it right there. That's all I want. Now, if you could feel this bucket, it's warm. I promise you, it's warm. Things are happening really quickly here within the next 60 seconds, 40 seconds. You're gonna see this right here. Ah, that was perfect. Change, it immediately changes color because it's white. That's what color this resin turns. So now I've got this tan that I was hoping for the whole time when I was mixing. Again, I've used these dyes a little bit, so I kind of knew what I was getting into. If you don't know, test, try something, do something in a little small cup, give it a shot. We have now 15 minutes before we can demold this, so let's wait 15 minutes. Okay, we've waited a little bit. This is still warm, but that's not a big deal. We're gonna go ahead and demold this. You gotta wait 15 minutes. We've waited more like 20, 25. Um, and then you'll notice we got some bubbles on the top. I didn't torch this or anything. We just wanted to get this here and see if the concept works. We can do another one that we really, really like. That's the nice part about these molds. You get a long life with them. So let's go ahead and do this. It's really simple. I like to just pull a little bit on the edges and you'll feel it kind of break loose, no problems. Oh yeah, it kind of feels like ripping a little bit. All right. And again, it's still hot. No, I have no idea what we're about to see. I have no idea if this moss thing worked. Only one way to find out. Here we go. Hey, that's not bad. I like that. It's a little metallic. I might try something different in the future, but there you go. So there it is. The tan totem pole with this kind of brushed in moss. So you notice we brush that in with powder, no problems. And then it's just now a part of the statue. Easy and ready to go. Wait a little bit, wait overnight. This actually firms up completely and it won't be so hot. This is actually a little bit warm in my hands. So there you go. Bill, thank you again, man, for taking me through the mold making part of this and for giving us this opportunity to do this. It was so much fun. Guys, give this a shot. Go check out Polytech, go check out Illumilite. I'll see you next time.